Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In today's video, we are going to explore a capability of MLflow that allows us to work with, let's say, custom models. So, as I mentioned in previous videos, MLflow has a module called Flavors. Um, basically, this provides native support for, let's say, common machine learning frameworks, such as Scikit-Learn, TensorFlow, Keras, Spark, and so on. But there might, be, there might be cases in which you maybe are using a, a model that doesn't fit into these, let's say, standard categories. In addition to that, there might be also cases in which uh, you need to add custom logic to the model. So even though you are using a common framework such as I can learn, maybe your business case needs additional logic you cannot use the prediction of the model directly so you need to implement um, let's say additional logic in those cases you need to use um, custom models from mlflow in order to lock and deploy your machine learning models so to summarize there might be two cases in which you need to use this implementation. The first one is when uh, the framework that you are using, um, MLflow doesn't support that framework. That could be the first reason. And the second reason is that you may need additional, let's say, logic in your model, meaning that you cannot use the output of your model directly. You need to do some logic uh, before uh, retrieving the output. So in those cases, you can you should, you, you you can use let's say a custom model from MLflow to um, log and deploy your machine learning project. So now let me show you the code that I have written in order to show uh, this uh, functionality. So here, what we can see is a script in which I have created a class, a Python class called custom models. Now uh, here is worth noting that we are using these uh, Python class, Python model class, and this is, represents a generic Python module that evaluates inputs and produces API compatible outputs. So basically, by using this Python class, this MLflow class, we can create a wrapper. I mean, the class is a wrapper for, let's say, our custom model. So the minimum necessary is to implement the fit method and a predict uh, method that we can use to train and get predictions from the model. There are, let's say, more methods that you can implement and more methods that this Python model class provides, but those are advanced, let's say, topics that we are not going to deal with in this video. So here I am basically creating this predict method, which uh, receives as a parameters context, which is a, a MLflow object with artifacts that the model may need during the inference time. Uh, we have model input, it's basically the data that you're going to use to fit the model. And here I have implemented this method called getPredition. Here, for example, you can implement uh, the custom logic that you need for your particular business use case. Uh, in this case, I am assuming the model input is going to be an array with, let's say, strings, uh, an array with strings. And I'm just, let's say, creating a single array uh, with those strings in uppercase. So now let me walk you through this uh, the main script. Here we have uh, this function that is creating an experiment. It's called custom models, and is rich. I am getting the experiment ID. Then I am using uh, as always the with statement to create an MLflow context, and the run is called custom model run. Then here I am creating an object of the class custom model. I am calling the fit method, and finally, I am logging the model. Here it's important to notice that uh, here I'm using Python right, as a flavor. As I mentioned in previous videos, we could use, let's say, scikit-learn, PyTorch, Keras, uh, Spark as a flavor. In this case, since our model is a custom model, we have to use Python.log model and provide the name of the artifact and the object uh, represents our custom model. In this case, this object here. Now here in this line, I'm just logging some parameters and this is only to show you that we can still do the same thing that we were doing before. 
login parameters, metrics, artifacts, etc. Now here in this line I am well loading the model. I want some predictions, so I'm loading the model using the Python um, flavor. And here I am getting predictions. As I as I mentioned before, the input is an array with strings. In this case, it's hello world, and I'm just printing th those predictions. So let me run this code, fitting model, and then we have hello world. Now let me show you the the interface interf interface, the user interface. Here we have the experiment that we just created, custom models, and we have a run. Let me open this, and here we can see that we have the parameters here, parent1 equals to value1, and we have the custom model. We can see here that, in this case, the flavors is a Python function or Python, meaning that MLflow is going to use this module to load the model. So to sum, to sum up, when we are dealing with, let's say, custom ca cases or particular cases in which, let's say, the machine learning framework that we are using doesn't fit any of the categories that we have in MLflow, or when we need to add additional logic, maybe business logic, to the inference time or training part, in those cases, we can use um, custom models from MLflow to create a wrapper that, well, is going to wrap the the logic, the custom logic or the custom framework, and create a model that is compatible with MLflow. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.